Good afternoon. Come on, let's try that again. Good afternoon. I'm so privileged to be here. Thank you so much. And um, I've been humbled by being here all day and listening to um, the quality of your presentations. And I'd like to acknowledge uh, the leadership of your company um, here today because it's inspiring. And I've been in this industry for 25 years and I'm still inspired and transformed by some of the conversations that I've been listening to today. So thank you so much, Peter, Louise, Celine, Mick, for, enjoy, for inviting me here today. So I'm sure many of you are sitting there going, what is direct selling Australia? Um, and it's an organization that has been, uh, so Celine said, has been an association for nearly 50 years. Actually on Sunday, we are celebrating 50 years of being an association. And thank you. Yeah, we're quite excited. So we'll be celebrating with a, a conference, our annual conference in Sydney. But what it does show you is that we are the industry body, the association, um, of which Juice Plus are a proud member. And what we do, our whole goal and mission um, here in Australia is twofold. It's to protect the industry of which you are a member, and it's to promote your interests as independent franchisees and contractors to ensure that we talk more about this amazing business. As Celine said, I'm passionate about empowering women, and I'll talk a little bit more about why uh, that is so in just a few moments. But globally, we talk, I've heard today a lot about the Juice Plus family and the community, and it is truly inspiring that you are part of something much bigger within Juice Plus. And I was really interested to hear that you're also part of a community that John mentioned this morning of that whole food network that is growing and something I'm particularly passionate about. Being a teacher trained, I actually was trained back in the day to teach cookery in schools. That was my first job, was at 21, teaching high school students to teach. And the reason that I gave up that job partly was they stopped teaching cookery in schools, which is a sad reflection in the 80s that it wasn't ranked and rated. Thank goodness it's coming back. And I was inspired to see what's going on in the Aboriginal communities and teaching children to, to cook and to grow. But you are also part of the direct selling community and globally it's growing. Globally it's an incredible, incredible industry to be involved in. And I've had the privilege of working both in Australia, the US and the UK in this industry. And globally it's an industry that is growing. It's in the millions and the billions. And in fact, there's a typo on that slide. And the reason I'm going to draw your attention to it is because the global industry is, that should be billions, not millions. And incredible that our statistics every year, and these are now 18 months old, um, the 2015, the new ones are just to be released by the USDSA. And I know that that will have gone up. So you're part of that community. Locally, domestically, here in Australia, we, we are not as big as the US, but we do punch above our weight. And here, we're around close to 1.5 billion in retail sales. And obviously, Juice Plus are a big part of that, and we thank you for that. But I think what, what makes me excited, and hearing uh, the presentation just now about customers and people that you are interacting with on a daily basis, between our member companies, and I'm only talking about members of the association, there are direct sellers outside of our membership, but the Deloitte study that we did shows that our membership interacts with close to 600,000 Australians yearly. So we're touching many, many people's lives. And that to me means we're having an impact, whether it be in empowering them to run their own businesses or 
offering them the opportunity to take Juice Plus and improve their health and well-being of only, not only them but their families too. You are making a difference in 600,000 million, 600,000 Australians' lives. And you're pretty proud of yourselves. Give yourselves a round of applause. And what I'm, I'm always fascinated about, and I loved listening to Louise this morning where she says she doesn't believe in coincidences, nor do I. And I think empower, the, the ripple effect of our industry constantly gets me excited. Even this morning, I, I went for a run. I am a runner. I'm a bit addicted. I went, it's beautiful Gold Coast. Why wouldn't you run on the Gold Coast early in the morning? And there was a group of Juice Plus uh, franchisees out, obviously for a walk this morning. But what, and why did I know? Well, they were all carrying these lovely bags with Juice Plus on them. But do you know what really hit me the most? was the chatter early in the morning, smiles on their faces, and they were walking around the streets of the Gold Coast with T-shirts on, and I'm sure they're here somewhere, and if they are, I'm gonna get them to wave, with T-shirts with Inspire on. Are they here? Over the back there! <laughs> I was totally inspired, not just by the fact that they were a happy bunch of people very early this morning, but they had this Inspire on their two, they were walking the talk. And even that little bit, I'll remember that. And then I, you know, I was really inspired as I went out for a run, as I hit the sort of headwind along the beach. And all I could remember was those t-shirts. So you just don't know what difference you're making. Um, and, and that ripple effect of, of what you are doing to help change people's lives. So Juice Plus here in Australia, very proud members of the Australian Direct Selling Association. We'd be very proud that Celine is presenting for us at our conference on Monday. She's been asked to run a workshop. Well done, Celine. <laughs> because of the success of you, she's representing each and every one of you talking about the growth of your outstanding company. Again, I was privileged to have lunch with John and hear about some of your origins and where you're going and I hope I'm not being taped, but you're streaks ahead of many of our other membership. And you should be very proud that you are in good company and with great leadership. So again, I think you need to give your leadership a really right, good round of applause. But what does being a member of Direct Selling Australia do for you? As a proud member, each and every one of our member companies um, agrees when they join our, our association to abide by the code of practice. And this will be a link on your website. There's a link on our website for public view and you know, for all of you, because this affects each and every one of you. It's the code by which all of us operate in. And not only does it protect your consumers, it protects you, and it, it talks about how member companies operate with each other. And as a team, we focus on what unites us, not what divides us. So we have over 70 members who all sign up to this code of practice. And I can honestly tell you, we receive so few complaints because this is, you can wear this with a badge of honor, that you are part of an industry that prides itself on um, offering great customer service. So our complaints handling system, when you think of how many people we interact with, coming back to that close to 600,000 Australians per year, we probably handle maybe four, five complaints a month, maybe one a week. And generally, those complaints are resolved very easily by ringing the member company and saying, oh, we've just had Sue on the phone and her product, she's worried, she hasn't had a product, she's paid for it and she hasn't received it. Generally, Sue hasn't rung the company. The company go, oh, it must have got lost in the mail and it's all sorted. But each and every one of your customers is protected by the code, but they don't need it because people who join the association subscribe, as I say, to what unites us. And what unites us is offering great service, great products, and great relationships. And, and that's what I've been hearing today. So what's our industry like? 90% women. It's different in Juice Plus, I think. 
doesn't look like 90% women. Um, sorry, <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> 95. <laughs> I was going to say lower, actually. Um, and, and I suppose that's why I, I talk about empowering women. I was so privileged to be sitting in the seat that you're sitting in. Um, in 1993, I joined a direct selling business in the UK. And a um, girlfriend of mine had been doing it for a while. And I'd been watching her and just sort of quietly observing. And again, you don't know who's watching you grow your business. I'd been watching her. And I reached a point where one night I put my daughter to bed. She's five years old at the time. She's now 29. And as I put her to bed, she was crying a little heart out. And she said to me, and many mothers in the room will relate to this. She said, it's not fair. I'm the only child at the school gate who gets picked up by a childminder. You're never there. Now, you know what that's like. It's like a bow and arrow to your heart. I'm the only working mother. You know you're not, but intellectually you know that. She was stressed that I was not there to pick her up from school. So in that instant, I decided to quit my job and be a stay-at-home mum for 12 months to ensure that she transitioned well into school. I lasted about two weeks till I... <laughs> My husband said I'd last a bit longer, but, you know. So I joined a direct selling business, and my world changed in an instant. I got the opportunity. I was um, in a party plan company selling clothes at the time. I got to sell clothes. I got to dress women. I got to empower women. I got to make them look and feel good. And, and that would have been enough for me. But then suddenly people started asking to join my team, which I hadn't really considered. And suddenly there I was training and empowering a team of women, and um, the rest is sort of history. I fell in love with this industry and what it does and how it changes people's lives. And that's what we've been listening to today. So 25 years on, the world has changed. But I think the core values of our industry and what each and every one of you does, that hasn't changed. Retail is changing. And you may not be aware, but I'm actually working uh, this week with the Retail Association because they're now trying to look at what we're doing. Because you know what we've got, retail will never get. The DNA of what makes direct selling and our industry so exciting is each and every one of you. It's the personal relationships. And we just heard a magnificent presentation about how you are building relationships. Uh, with, your cons with your customers. Retail are asking us as an association, how do you do that? And how does that work? Because retail are losing their edge and are being constantly challenged. So direct selling, as you all know, and, and I, I really feel with this presentation today that I don't need to do a lot of this because I've sat here today, you know this, but the real essence of what we do. And again, this hasn't changed in all of the time I've been privileged to be involved, is the development of people. And Celine just talked beautifully about building your belief muscles and building your own self-belief in, in this industry, in this global industry. And now is the time. Entrepreneurship has never been such a buzzword as it is now. And each and every one of you are part of that. You're building an amazing sense of community, not only here on the Gold Coast, across Australia, across your Juice Plus world, but you're also part of something much bigger, a growing number of people who want to be entrepreneurs, who are taking control of, of their future and where they go. The other thing I love about direct selling is the incentives. You know, don't take it lightly, the recognition of what just happened prior to me coming on stage. How did that make you feel inside? Just by standing up and being recognized by your peers. I know for me, I've really missed that since I left the field. And maybe that's why I took up marathon running. I don't know. But I have to tell you, some of the marathons that I do, when you're running along a road and there's people cheering you on, they don't know who you are, they have no idea, they're never going to see you again, but they're cheering and they're clapping and they're propelling you forward. It's like what we just saw in this room. Everybody has got your back. And, and that doesn't happen in the corporate world. 
but each and every one of you are encouraging um, your peers. And so the incentives and the recognition, a very big part of, of what we do and what makes us unique. Trends to watch, what's coming up, millennials. I often talk at our member companies about millennials, and I was saying at lunch, oh, I'm not sure I can do this at Juice Plus, because I'm surrounded by mums with nursing babies, and, and the millennials are here. So Juice Plus have got that right. Many member companies, many direct sellers want what you've got, um, because the buzzword is, how do we attract millennials? Well, I think we probably should be telling them to look at Juice Plus, because hands up the millennials. Really? Come on, guys, that's all of us. Aren't we all millennials at heart? Come on. <laughs> but it's about also, and again, I have to say Juice Plus are doing this. One of my um, presentations for next week at our conference is talking about getting the consumer where they're at. The consumer needs have changed. I was listening to a podcast just recently on Jeff, I'm not sure how you say his name, Bezos, the CEO of Amazon globally. And he talks about the single thing Amazon focus on is the consumer, the customer's needs. What do they want? When do they want to shop? How do they want to shop? How do they want to pay? And I, talking, you know, with your leadership in Juice Plus, you've got that. You're there, you're getting them where they're at. You're building an amazing customer base. And that for me is very exciting because I see the trends, I see the consumer needs changing. I have a 29 year old now who's grown up with direct selling. She, she prides herself on shopping online. I mean, the biggest thing for me recently it blew my mind, tells I'm not a millennial. She bought a bed mattress online and I'm like, how do you do that? You know, don't you go lie on one and check it out? And No, she says, Mom, it's going to be delivered in a box. And I was there when it was delivered. It's in this little box. It was, I won't say the name of it. I nearly gave them a good push. Um, it's a, it's a not-for-profit organization. She works in that sector, so she's very passionate about giving back and giving to communities. So she wanted to buy a not, you know, from a place where she was reputable and purpose. And we'll talk about that in a second. So this arrives in a box, and you, you literally open the box, and it's like that rabbit thing. It sort of unfolds and becomes a queen-size mattress. And then she had 90 days, 90 days to try out this mattress. And if she didn't like it, as long as she sent it back, well, she didn't actually have to send it back, because ultimately, funny enough, she didn't like it. So she had to return it. And what they then do, that company, is they donate any returns to the homeless, to women's shelters. That's why she bought from them. So it's getting them where they're at. My 29-year-old daughter is no different to many other consumers and shoppers out there. They want purpose. They want to know that the companies that they are buying from and align with have a, mi a mission, a purpose. And wow, there was never anything more powerful than the presentation from Louise. And Dave was just such a breath of fresh air listening to his authenticity this morning. I don't know about you, but, you know, jokes aside, he, he was one of the best speakers I've seen in a long time, don't you think? Don't you connect with him? What's happening in retail? Well, you've heard. Retail's suffering. Direct selling is growing because we are the original social communities. You know, we talk about social selling, we talk about, you know, Facebook and all those social sites. We were the original social selling site. We were the original social communities and we are coming into our own now. Retail, they're closing down, some of them. They're being challenged. They're going to be challenged even further later this year when Amazon truly hits Australia. And one of our presentations next week will be about what happens when Amazon comes. It's going to be a game changer. I don't know about you, but you know, as a consumer, when I shop online, and I do a lot of that, I have, ne I have expectations. And I want to, when I go into a retail store, as I did last weekend, and there's nobody around, and I have to queue to line up, and 
I'm not going to be accepting of that anymore. I want great customer service. And wow, did you not get a good presentation just this afternoon about great customer service? So what's happening in retail is they're scared and they're worried uh, because they haven't got what you've got. We're seeing more members doing pop-ups and um, having this concept of, you know, popping up as a member company. You might see some of our other members popping up in to, to grow our brand, to promote. So what's happening in direct selling is we're going, hmm, we can learn a little bit from retail. We could move that little away towards retail just a little bit. And we've seen um, in direct selling, certainly, this emergence of pop-ups and pop-up boutiques and pop-up selling. So, you know, watch out for that and have a think about that. Um, maybe not so applicable. But it's all about the you economy. You know, it's where you want to be, when you want to run your business, when, you, when you're looking at building your teams and your consumers and your business builders. It's what do you want? And um, I, I firmly believe that Juice Plus are offering what they want. You've only got to look around and see um, how many people are in this room and listen to what is going on in Juice Plus to see that you are meeting them where they want to where they want to buy and shop and build. So congratulations, Juice Plus. It's pretty amazing. And finally, yeah, round of applause for yourselves, absolutely. <laughs> Customer service has never been more important. And I don't want to steal your thunder. You did a great job on that. The personal I'm a great believer in the handwritten note and the follow-up and I think that's what makes direct selling so unique. It's the personal touch. And retail are now beginning to wise up to this too. Um, they're beginning to handwritten notes. When you get something in the mail, they're wrapping it slightly better. They're, you know, there's tissue paper when you buy something online because the store are realizing and, um, that the customer needs, the consumer needs are growing. And um, so I, I commend you. That is great. I don't need to dwell more on that. You got that message just now. Fidgetal, well, you know, it's we can work where we want, where we want. I have staff who work for me who don't come to the office. They're mums with young babies. They tend to work around 8.30 at night through till midnight. They'll work where they want, when they want. And you've, you've got to compete with that. So you've got to be able to offer that within direct selling and within your businesses. And you know, the physical world, the physical meeting the digital, that's what's happening. And people are really becoming self-aware to this changing um, unique selling point of what direct selling is. Uh, entrepreneur, I saw just only two nights ago on, on the TV in Sydney, an advert for a TAFE college offering a module in entrepreneurialism. Is that the right word? Wow, that was good for after lunch. That didn't happen. That, you know, that's really new. You know, there's NAB running TV ads about the Aussie guy with the swimming things, you know? Um, what's he called? Sorry, budgie smugglers, that's a word. <laughs> you could tell I'm not a true blue Aussie yet. I've only been here 20 years. Um, but NAB are recognizing that that whole dynamic of the workforce is changing. You, you are in the right place at the right time, ready to fly. And you should be leaping out of your seats. You should be excited um, because the industry and Juice Plus are primed for where we're going. It really is time. It's time now. We've been talking in our industry about the 50 years. And we will be respecting the 50 years of where we've come from and our heritage. Because as was so beautifully demonstrated by Dave, you know, we have tracks. We have some amazing people who have taught us about this industry. But I might differ with Dave slightly is that we've now got to make some new paths. We've got to find some new ways. And it's not 50 years of new ways, it's five years. Change is getting quicker, you've heard it, disruption, everything's changing. We have to adapt. And as an industry, I see that happening. I see that, you know, Juice Plus are meeting the consumer where they're at. They're giving you the tools to run your business. And the next five years, that'll change. You'll have not only new products,
but new tools and new ways of doing things. And you've got to be open and adaptable to that so that you, you do forage your own path and change in the coming five years. Don't be afraid of change because actually it's really exciting. I love it and I crave it sometimes too much. But I just want to say, you are in the right place at the right time and you should all be leaping off your seats and very excited. Thanks for sharing some of your time with me today. Good luck to all of you.